What's up? It's Tom. We're going to do a little backyard uh, camp chair rant on the role of the modern baseball manager. Um, and it's not much of a role. Uh, it's not much of a role. Mostly overblown. The, 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 the impact a manager has, is, and I'm not saying it's not worth talking about at all. I'm not saying it's meaningless. But it is greatly reduced, especially from past eras of baseball. Uh, and it's really not worth as much energy as a lot of y'all put into it. Um, if you're somebody who thinks the Twins pitching plans, the Twins pitching staff management is coming at the direction of Rocco Baldelli, and if they put in a different manager, things would be dramatically different, you are wrong. And if you, if you don't believe me, just look at what happened last night. We had Dusty Baker, the manager of the Houston Astros. Ninth in all-time managerial wins, Dusty Baker, 73 years old. This is a guy who's been managing since 1993. Uh, you know, obviously was a major leaguer for a very long time as well. Debuted in 1968 as a player. A guy who's been in the game for ages is my point. And he's got Justin Verlander, a guy who's led the league in innings four times. He has a 250-inning <laughs> season under his belt. And he gets removed after six innings with less than 100 pitches with a no-hitter going. A lot of you say, oh, Rocco would take Justin Verlander out if you had a no-hitter after six. Dusty frickin' Baker did it. So you know what? <laughs> yeah, Rocco would. Dusty did. This is how the game is being managed now. Um, I'm going to cut away to some of Dusty's post-game comments. Every night we have kind of predetermined pitch count depending on the load that a guy has. And But tonight his pitch count was was 90. And, uh, and he had 91. You know, it's tough to take a guy out with a no-hitter, but he, he'd had to go 130 pitches to get that, you know. So, um, you know, you got to wait between, you know, a no-hitter and having him for the rest of the year. And, and you know what? I think he's right. I think this is the right approach to take because, you know, was Verlander, uh, was taking him out after six. You might get frustrated. It was only six innings. It was only 91 pitches. Sure. But do you really, realistically, you want to play this out? You think he was going to go all nine? You think they were going to let him throw 120, 130 pitches? No, that wasn't going to happen anyway. And I'm sure that's what Verlander realized as well. Um, but, you know, continuing on this thread of the manager's role, uh, Joe Madden recently spoke out, uh, recently fired from the Angels, he had a lot of interesting things to say. I think it was the Tampa Bay newspaper. I'll put a link to the description. Um, but one of the quotes he had that really didn't get picked up on a lot of places I found most interesting. Um, he said, when people keep blaming the, the dugout for a lot of things they're seeing, they need to understand they shouldn't be doing that because the manager has so many voices in the back of his head by the time the game begins, it's not his game like it had been. It's absolutely the front office's game. Again, that was Joe Madden. Maybe, you know, he's a manager, you know, maybe some sour grapes over getting fired, you could say. And, of course, he's maybe going to kind of deflect blame onto a front office. He said in that same um, article that he's not really interested in managing at this time because he's enjoying what he's doing right now. So it's not as if, uh, and I mean, if, if honestly, if you are, are looking for a new job as a manager, that's probably the last thing you got to be saying right now. Um, so I believe him in that, and I think that is coming from the heart. I think it's honest. You know, his perspective obviously kind of maybe clouds things a bit. I think, you know, if we were to ask the Angels front office um, their thoughts, they would have some different takes. So take it all with a grain of salt. But I think, you know, that's just another indication here that the front offices these days have so much impact on what's going on with the manager, and I think that's definitely true of the Minnesota Twins. Um, and, you know, if you would, again, go, kind of go, let's play this out. You, you want to fire Rocco Baldelli. What do you think is going to happen? They're going to bring in somebody else. Nothing is going to change on the, on the pitching staff management. It's not as if the Twins brought in anybody, even an, even an old school manager. Again, Dusty Baker, 73 years old, but in the game forever, he's still doing this stuff. So it's not as if you took out Rocco and replaced him with someone else. You're going to see much different. Uh, if you want to be frustrated about how the game is being managed, how the game is being played, I'm not going to tell you you're wrong, but I will say try to direct that frustration uh, to where it's appropriate, and that is to the front offices, um, who are clearly kind of pulling a lot of the strings. Um, so, you know, that, that was the rant for today. Let me know what you think. We'll talk again soon.